How's it going, everyone? It's Cole from Dual Clutch, and today I'm trying to determine if the CLA45's engine data screen is accurate. So, first of all, to get to this screen, you go to Vehicle, and then Dynamic Select, Engine Data. So, what this does is it essentially gives you a readout of your horsepower and your torque, um, and then some other temperatures, um, transmission, oil, which you can find elsewhere. Um, so, with a stock vehicle, this should be pretty accurate, um, but as some of you may know, I modded my car. I put in an ECU, a blow off valve, and an intake, so obviously the horsepower has changed. So today we're trying to determine if this is now accurate and if this will reflect the changes. So as you can see already, the torque looks like it goes up to 375 pound-feet, and the horsepower looks like it gets up to 600 which is pretty ambitious. Um, I haven't tested this, I haven't documented it, but I have looked at this after getting the mods and seen that it didn't look like the horsepower was breaking 375. So I don't think this will be giving me a true readout, but I want to see if this will do one of two things. Either reach 375 horsepower early, that's the first one, or I want to see if this will break 375 horsepower. So, let's get to it. So just driving around so far, it doesn't really look like it's reaching anything higher. Um, my torque is supposed to reach about 480 pound-feet, I believe, around 3000 RPM. So right now, I'm just trying to find a straightaway that I can safely reach the top end of first gear without accelerating in a dangerous manner. Um, kind of tough to do in Ann Arbor, but I do know a couple roads, so we'll see how traffic's doing, and if it's light, I think we could probably go there. Well, we just got to a light, and it looks like this is where we can test it out. We're in a uh, 45 mile an hour zone, so once the light changes, I'm going to take it up to about 50, 45, and um, we'll see what we see. Actually, oh, it looks like there's a cop behind us. Whoa, whoa. Someone just about ran that red light, just sitting here. Oh my god. And the cop didn't see anything. Interesting. He's one lane over, and the guy that just went through was one lane over, so... <laughs> Alright, well I don't think I saw anything there. Alright, we're about to merge onto the freeway, so here it is, the moment of truth. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't see any change. Um, I could have been wrong, I only glanced over, but um, it doesn't look like anything's changed. The blow off sounds great though. <laughs> so unfortunately it doesn't look like anything changed. Um, I reviewed the footage and the horsepower peaked at 375. So I guess what that means is that this engine data screen actually does not reflect the state of your car in any way. It's simply linked to the RPM that your car is currently at with pre-programmed data. Um, well, that is disappointing. I really didn't expect anything, any, any changes. You know, I didn't think that my car had a built-in dyno, but it doesn't hurt to hope. So that's all we have for you today. Make sure to like and subscribe and let us know what you think in the comment section below. Peace.